Thank you for joining us on this Friday night. Glad to have you here. We have a great show planned for you, along with some great guests tonight. Welcome to The Factor Uncentered. No matter how much you think you know a person, you just don't. Even family members who may be monsters. 25-year-old Tyler Langdon is charged with capital murder. Police say he shot and killed his aunt and grandmother. That grandmother's body was found Wednesday in an abandoned bank parking lot. Investigators were tipped off by a 12-year-old girl about the details of the murder. She said her cousin killed her family, her relatives. Even more disturbing, police say he sexually assaulted that 12-year-old and then went to sleep in the same bed with her. He's being held without bond. Joining us to talk about it tonight, Andy Kahn from Houston Crime Stoppers and domestic violence expert, Michelle Sachs. Michelle, when you see a case like this, mm -hmm. and there were the warning signs, and they did what they were supposed to do in most instances, how do you even address something like this? Well, I think what's important to, to know is that when we look at sexual abuse of a child, right, she's 12 years old, is that it is most often someone that's known to them. Right. And a third of the time, right, like 34% of the time, it's a family member. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think as parents, like, we focus so much on stranger danger when less than 10% of the time is it a stranger. You know, it's typically someone that has access to that child and, um, and they use that trust. So I think we need to, to probably talk about that a little bit more. And Andy, tell me the steps that this family took to try and keep him away, to keep him from harming them. I think it's my understanding there was a restraining order, and they did everything possible to try and keep him away. You know, Isaiah, I, I took a good deep dive into his criminal background. A deep, deep, long criminal background. Well, it is, but keep in mind, he's only 25 years old. At 17, he was sent to prison five years for burglary. Now, most 17-year-olds don't go to the joint for burglary. So I start looking and, of course, find out he's on juvenile probation at the time he broke into this house and stole guns and ammo. He confessed to his probation officer, very similar to what's happening right now with this situation when he told the officers, I shot and killed my grandmother and my aunt and was caught with a gun and a knife as well. Fast forward, 2023, there's four cases involving him breaking into homes in the neighborhoods. There's a, there's a recommendation for him to get medical, mental treatment. Far as I know, nothing happened. Mm -hmm. There's something obviously wrong with this individual, but the system kept punting him out to do what he does best, and now you got two people dead and a 12-year-old girl that's got a lifetime of scar and pain. And when you hear that, mm -hmm. should we have done more as a community, as a society, to address the problems that we have seen with him? Did we let this man slip through the cracks and then commit the ultimate crime? Oh, 100%. Yes, I mean, like, again, he started super early, right? But when we look at this family, like, you know, he had access to this child, he was there. Um, I, there was a lot of warning signs beforehand. And to have a record already, to have this much criminal history, right, at 25 years old. You don't go and to Just prison. imagine yeah. what he had before it was on yes. the record. That's this what I'm problem. saying. You don't go to prison for burglary at the age of 17 unless you've got a lengthy history as a juvenile. It's going to be interesting to see as this case proceeds okay. down the road whether he's going to be declared fit for trial, whether he's actually going to be in some sort of institution before he's declared incompetent. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too late. Last week, I was on National Fox News talking about an 18-year-old college freshman in Belmont University that was shot and killed by a career habitual offender. The defendant was declared mentally incompetent by the Tennessee court. And instead of keeping him in where he can be treated so he can be competent to stand trial, they just put him right back in the community. And now you got an 18-year-old girl dead. And Michelle, is there and do we believe him? Obviously, we know you can help a child. Is there something such as a bad seed? Someone who may be born inherently evil? You're asking Or bad? Yeah. 
So you're asking me, is that a defense? No, no, no. I'm asking you if that's possible. Oh, I, I believe I, it. I believe yeah. it. Is there a bad seed? I, you know, I don't know. I think you're talking like nature versus nurture. Yes. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's bad seeds, absolutely, but I just, I don't want that to be. No, we know that's not yeah, going to be his okay. defense. That, yeah. that is absolutely not his okay. defense. You are still culpable and responsible for everything you do as yes, an individual. Yes, regardless. But there yes. are some people who are born without the mindset that they realize they're doing something wrong. Oh, Go, yeah, Andy, psychologically, for it. sure. You, you've yeah. seen a lot of Look, criminals. like it or not, I always tell people, the, the quicker you grasp the reality that there's evil people out there in this world, the better off you're going to be. And in this particular case, you've got somebody that's got a hat of history, a pattern of breaking into homes, stealing guns, and then, do, you know, doing what he does. And here's someone who has no qualms. No, most normal people don't go around saying, I, went, I did this. I shot and killed my grandmother, I mm -hmm. shot and killed my mother, mm -hmm. I broke into this house, I admit that I do this. I mean, this, this, was, this guy was caught rather quickly, and thank God this 12-year-old girl had the moxie and the street smart. And hopefully she gets the and counseling she needs oh. to recover oh. from this, because it will be a long road for her. Michelle, I mean, there are Very even people out there. No, there <laughs> definitely are. I just want to, again, like, I don't want that yeah, to ever be... His defense. Yes. Got it, got yes. it, got it, got it. No, 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 no. We're going to fry that bastard.